Shane Woodson here with UAVionics, and we're here at Sun and Fun 2023. Um, a lot of things are ha happening here. We're coming out of uh, a pretty interesting time frame in the uh, manufacturing market where uh, there's been some su supply chain situations and we're powering through those. And um, we've got the creative juices for uh, development coming back in. And for the time being, um, we've got kind of circling back on some of our projects that we are taking into FAA certification now. And so we've got for the experimental market, we're currently shipping the AV mag, which is an external magnetometer for the AV30. Um, and then we also have available for the experimental market, the AV link, which is uh, the wireless communication device that allows the, the AV30 to receive traffic and wet, uh, traffic information for the, um, from portable ADSB receivers such as the Sentry, uh, other GDL90 ADSB receivers, and then also our Echo UAT in the experimental market is very popular. Um, then moving on from that, um, we've done several software updates for the AV30. Uh, it's spent a lot of time speaking of that uh, the supply chain issues um, that we've run into. Um, there's been a lot of development time taken to to kind of work on parts as they become unavailable and to generate um, the, the means to be able to produce those, those uh, units effectively and, and keep the quality that we, we strive to. So a lot of engineering time has gone into that. So speaking on the autopilot for the AV30E, we're currently supporting with, with the software to drive the experimental autopilots, the digital autopilots, such as the, the TrueTrack, the Bendix King Aero Cruise, and the the trio. Um, what we're working on for the next rollout, which will be for experimental and the prototyping um, and the, the beta testing, is a digital serial converter that will take the um, uh, the AV30 and let that, those legacy autopilots, such as we'll start with the S Tech autopilot and then work on others following that, and that will allow the AV30 to continue to drive. Um, through that adapter interface to drive the, uh, the, the legacy autopilots. And so um, we are shooting for an experimental product release on that uh, this summer, and then it will enter in certification thereafter. And uh, based on FAA timing, don't really have a, a, a long term, but our hopes are is that we'll have it certified and ready to go before the end of the year in the certified market. Following up on one of our uh, number one products, the Sky Beacon, um, in the experimental world, we also had the Sky Sensor in the experimental. That was the, the companion green navigation light. And we allow that to, um, to, to receive, that's a GDL90 device that gives you traffic and weather, uh, Wi-Fi is back into the cockpit. Um, and it also has a static port in there so that it can actually report pressure altitude um, back in. So the, the EFBs of your choice can actually have access to that. So based on popular demand and request, we were, we were going for a Skylight um, certified unit for the certified market, but we've actually decided to go ahead and keep the pricing the same for this as the experimental. And we've just recently here at the show announced that Skylight will essentially now be Sky Sensor. So, You'll have a, a nav light certified, a TSO to anti-collision light, and then you'll have the, uh, the added supplemental awareness of the ADS-B in, Wi-Fi, GPS that will drive your EFBs, but also it'll have that static pressure altitude. Um, and so moving forward, we'll actually start to, um, the, the product development there will actually be the uh, legacy autopilot will be coming out next for the the experimental world, and that will be a, a module that will work with the, that will plug into the back of the AV30 or wire into the back of the AV30, and that will drive those heading bugs for those um, legacy autopilots. And then beyond that, I know we've touched a base on it a few times before, but we are continuing to move forward with the IFR HSI. We have full intensive purposes to have that in a, a, a product release um, here uh, later this year. And then that will be for, you know, start off for the experimental world and then it'll roll into the certified. And then several things that aren't yet ready to tell you about, but I can tell you, speaking earlier about the kind of the engineering development and creativity um, coming out of the pandemic and everything, we are back in full force. So we'll have a lot of new things from 
from wing tips to tail to panel, you name it, we're working on solutions across the plane. So um, looking forward to bring more news on that and stay tuned.